praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah i have so some prophecy concerning the world and concerning nigeria and concerning you a more prophecy praise the lord i told you last time i told you last time to we should pray against flood all over the country right and all over the world i mentioned some countries i mentioned american that one has gone but it's still there <laughs> it's not yet over in america because i'm still seeing some flood hallelujah hallelujah so you in nigeria don't fold your hands then but don't fold your hands because i see a very mighty flood coming mighty what flood coming millions in the southeast are dealing with some of the worst flooding in the area's history torrential rain forced hundreds of rescues sunday in south carolina the flooding has killed at least seven people in the Carolinas. South Carolina's governor says a downpour like this happens only once in a thousand years. Several cities have already broken rainfall records for October. Mount Pleasant, South Carolina received more than two feet of rain in the last few days. David Begno is in Columbia, the state capital, where about a foot of rain has fallen. David, good morning. Nora, good morning. I'm standing in a sinkhole, and behind me is a tax business that was destroyed when a wall of water rushed through it. There are scenes like this all over the city of Columbia. As calls for help came in yesterday, the water was rising almost at the same time. More than 200 people were rescued here in the city. Around town right now, people who have water have been told they need to boil it, and those who don't have been told they may be without it for three to four days. It's a disaster here. Oh my God, the truck is sinking. The truck is sinking. The devastating flooding hitting South Carolina has reached catastrophic levels. At least five people have been killed in the state and officials are worried that number will rise. Several days of relentless rainfall have left roads so saturated on Sunday, many of them gave way. We haven't seen this level of rain in the low country in a thousand years. That's how big this is. Crews rescued hundreds of people from fast moving floodwaters. Yep, he just made a mistake. The driver of this pickup truck tried to drive through a flooded street, but his car was quickly overtaken. A man swam in to try to rescue him, but moments later, he too was trapped in the high water. Both men were rescued by emergency crews in a scene that is playing out across this state. This is Gills Creek. The water here has risen, we're told, at least 10 feet. And there's concern of another dam failure just right up the road. We've learned at least five dams have failed in Lexington and Richland counties, flooding those communities and prompting county officials to issue a curfew. 600 National Guardsmen have been activated. 8,000 are on standby. The Coast Guard rescued this woman and her 15-month-old child after they became stranded in their home in Charleston. This is an incident we've never had before because it's water and it's slow moving and it's sitting and we can't just take the water out. We were there as Ronald Austin retrieved medicine from the flooded home of his 84-year-old father. A neighbor with a kayak helped Austin make the potentially life-saving trip. Just a, a godsend right there. He'd be able to, somebody to give you a ride there. You know, that was just almost like an answer to a prayer. Officials in South Carolina waking up to lingering fears that more catastrophic flooding and new dam breaches could be on the way. From the river standpoint, we haven't hit the worst of it yet. Monday night, eight dams failing, buckling under the pressure of historic rains. 18 failing since Saturday, some areas seeing more than 20 inches. The deluge to blame for more than a dozen deaths in the Carolinas. Just because the rain stops does not mean that we are out of the woods. This road collapsed in Lugoff, claiming the life of a man driving with a female passenger. The vehicle careening through barricades. She survived, pulled from the overturned wreckage amid rushing water. In Ridgeville, a chilling rescue of a different kind. Floodwaters unearthing caskets from a nearby cemetery. That's somebody's family out there. So, we gotta I mean, show respect. This is this is respect. We gotta respect the dead. This man risking his own life, venturing into waist deep water, pushing a casket to shore. In the hard hit area of downtown Columbia, 
The Congaree River peaking to the highest it's been in decades, covering interstate roads, leaving homes underwater and washing out bridges. Now at least six nearby states sending emergency workers into South Carolina for added flood relief. So far, 1,300 National Guard members are on duty, crews in Black Hawk helicopters leading statewide rescue efforts. Sad because people have lost their businesses, they've lost homes, and it affected everybody across the board. It did not discriminate. The devastation prompting President Obama to declare South Carolina a major disaster area, ordering federal aid.